Baum never thought much about time. For Baum, it had always been about growing. From the moment they awoke in a cramped, dark acorn, all they wanted to do was stretch. They pushed and struggled with all their desire to live, until the acorn cocoon which kept them bound cracked, just enough for them to send forth a tendril-like taproot down to the rich soil that cradled them. Baum drank deeply from the moisture from below and felt strengthened. They reached deeper and wider through the earth, taking what they needed to live and grow and anchoring themselves to the constant ground below. Then they turned their gaze upward. Through the shade of other living things above them, they could see a light. It increased and faded and varied in intensity, but it seemed to call to them. They felt a driving need to be closer to it. They reached with all their might, and another tendril shot forth. This one struggled through the vibrant, multicolored mess of nature that covered the ground. As their chute broke free into the crisp spring air, they gazed in wonder at the ball of light that moved across the sky. At that moment, Mal knew what it felt like to be loved. As the ball of light continued to rise and fall, in the azure sky, Baum knew they wanted to feel more of the love that radiated from the glorious orb. Baum reached higher and spread branches and leaves in order to absorb more of that love as it fell from the sky above. The light was not as constant as the ground. Often it moved unrestrained through the sky, but sometimes it played hide and seek among the clouds that would float by. Sometimes, those clouds seemed to try and completely swallow the light. But Baum knew he was still there. The ever-changing clouds always looked different, as if they could not decide what they wanted to look like. Baum was not like that. Baum was just happy to grow and be of himself. They were surrounded by others like himself, and they all felt the same way, though they all looked different. Silly clouds, Ben thought. They should just be happy to fly so high through the air, so close to the light and love of the sun. Baum loved it when the clouds turned dark and rained down on them, replenishing the ground they drank their moisture from. Baum was not as fond of the wind. It was not bad when it gently moved through its leaves and branches, but sometimes it became quite violent as if it wanted to tear Baum from the solid, constant ground they were rooted to. Sometimes, a few of the others like Baum lost their grip and crashed loudly to the ground, sometimes taking smaller ones with them. Baum had been lucky. They had only lost some branches. That was okay, because Baum liked making new ones. Baum was always growing upward and outward, Sometimes their leaves turned reddish-brown and fell to the ground below. But they would always grow more, fresh green ones, to bask in the sun's love. Baum and the others like them were not alone in the woods. Small things with wings, birds and insects flew around them, sometimes building homes among their branches. Other creatures moved about on the ground, coming and going. Silly things, Baum thought. Why not stay in one place and just be? A boy and girl sometimes played in the woods, running, laughing, hiding and chasing each other. Every time Baum saw them, they had seemed to have grown, but not as fast as Baum did. Maybe the boy and girl had more in common with Baum, but they were always coming and going. The last time Baum saw them, the boy and girl walked closer together, and kept touching each other. Odd, Baum had always just wanted to be closer to the sun and he was not. Why would they want to move about so much? Baum often thought. The boy and girl, the small creatures that scurried around in the grass and ferns, the birds and insects that flew amongst Baum's branches. They interacted with each other, but could not stay still. 
and they never stayed long. For the first time, Baum needed something besides the sustaining soil and the sun's love. Baum needed to know why. Baum focused all their energy and power and did something they had never done before. Baum took a step. The sensation was overwhelming. The air felt like wind against their bark. They took another step. The mushrooms that grew on Baum sometimes seemed to squeal in glee at the unexpected ride. As Baum continued stepping, curious butterflies began to fly around their branches. They were beautiful things, Baum thought. Too bad they lived such a short time. Baum stopped. They had never thought much about time. For Baum, it had always been about growing. But for these colorful, fluttering creatures, time was so short. How many of them had lived and died while Baum had been quietly growing? What must it be like to only have a small amount of time? A ladybug landed on one of their branches, and Bao moved it closer to get a better look at it. It was such a beautiful shade of red, much deeper than Baum's leaves ever got. Black dots on its wings stood in stark contrast to the cherry red that surrounded them. Baum had never been so small. Baum looked at the ladybug in wonder as it crawled along their branch. Ladybugs live longer than the blank and you miss the butterflies. Ladybugs lived for about one cycle of the seasons. Baum's eyes grew big as they considered that ladybug. One spring, one summer, one autumn, one winter. What would a life like that be like, Baum wondered. They looked at the magnificent ladybug and smiled.